we want to start a conversation here in Alabama. Uh, the same thing going on in South Carolina. We wanted these four flags here in the state of Alabama that is on state government property to be removed off of state government property and placed in a museum or inside of the state capitol. The reason is to that because this flag, to some people here in this country, it represents evil, it represents white supremacy, and it represents hate. The young man that walked into an all-black church on last Wednesday night and opened fire on the pastor and nine other individuals, 21 years old, said, I was sent to shoot black people. When the federal government, when the Justice Department investigated his background and his history, the same flag that we won't take him down for him today that been taken down, it was on the front of his car and it was on his arm, arm jacket on Facebook. This fueled this young man to do what he did. 21 years old and standing on top of an 89 year old woman. A woman that seen civil rights and probably had seen a little slave stood over her and she begged for her life and shot her dead. You're it's that flag that fueled what he did and that's why I wanted it down. You know there will be other men and women to act in terrible ways and for other causes down there. I mean, it, you, you, you think that will end this kind of thing? This will not end it, but this is a step into the right direction. That flag represents evil, hate, and white supremacy to some. Now to some that say it's the heritage and the history, we're not arguing that. If that's the history and heritage, we welcome them to celebrate it. We welcome them to, uh, to, to have a conversation with that. But they need to also know, you have some that don't agree with what you're saying, that is not going along with what you're saying. That's what we're, we're talking about. We're against hate, no matter if it's uh, white or black or not. All of us, we fight against hate on all type of levels.